Welcome to Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube video. You are here with your GBHL host, GBHL James. And GBHL Jamie. With popcorn falling out of our mouths. Yeah. <laughs> we are eating right now. And this is a special video. Yep. Special video because some people might have noticed something. Yeah, well I hope you've noticed. Um, <laughs> yeah, you put a bit of work into it. Yeah. <laughs> We've, um, somewhere here. It's going to come up here. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever we can fit it in, uh, we've got a new logo. Yay! Woo -hoo -hoo! Uh, this is a this is a video to thank everybody who got involved when we first announced that we were looking for a logo, like ages ago. It was ages ago, wasn't it? It was before Christmas. I the scout one. It was before the scout. We was it? yeah, we filmed it oh. in there. I think that that video was the one where we were sat in the wrong positions. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, it was. You were sat here. Yeah. And I was sat there and we were like, whoa, something is wrong. Uh, and we did ask you guys for a uh, for a logo. And of course, we wanted it Tolkien-esque. And we got tons of entries, didn't we? We did, yes, yeah. And a lot of them were really good. Some of them were shocking. <laughs> 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 I'm only joking. We really appreciate all of you for uh, getting them in. And I'm sorry that we didn't get back to you because we, we were inundated. Yeah. And we wanted to focus on sort of the one that we were most happy with in terms, at, the time, yeah. at the time in terms of development. And this logo that you can see is from the mighty second place in the 2013 mm -hmm. Great British Hobbit League League, Thomas Harrison. So, massive round of applause for Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. And congratulations to you for winning. When we do get the GBHL merchandise, we will send you a free GBHL hoodie, GBHL t-shirt, and GBHL type dice, which I know that everybody's really, really keen on getting their hands on. Yeah. Comment below if you are keen on getting your hands on that, because we're working on it literally today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start putting this together. So we're going to talk through the um, the logo design and why. What, what did I do? There it is. We're going to talk about the logo design and why Thomas Harrison uh, went for what he did. So his original email. Uh, if we go back, oh, thank you very much, Gibby. You're chucking oh, Jane will not be happy. I'll sort it out, don't worry. Okay, so we're going to talk about um, the rationale behind Tom Harrison's design and the little notes that we gave him and how he developed that. So the rationale behind the design, his background, the design is based on the classic J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, which I will try and put a link, well, picture up of it now. Yeah. Uh, if you hadn't realised that already, it would be worrying if you hadn't, as it means the logo isn't clear enough. I think it's clear. Who else got that? Who else knew that it matched that JRR? So you, you can see it. Yeah. Right? Talking about. I've replaced the JRRT initials with the GBHL. Of course. The rationale behind this is that many of those involved in the channel are obviously huge Tolkien fans. And I think they would appreciate the nuanced reference. Well, I certainly did. And Jamie, that's why we picked it. The Tolkien logo is often portrayed as a black image on a white background or a white image on a black background. Yeah, and we compared the two. Yeah. Um, we preferred the black and the white background. Um, oh, you got back to yourself. That just saves us both differently. Yeah. Um, one because I, on, when we got the first sort of draft through, thinking about dice and t-shirts and things, black and white is much easier to image image to put onto other stuff than white on black. It is. It is indeed. So he mimicked both of these uh, for our perusal. Note that the background iconography Phil, uh, Phil could easily be whatever colour the t-shirt, hoodie, dice, etc. The question is, which again is why we went for the black outlines and the white background. Yeah. Okay. So two, initials rather than an item. Mm -hmm. I think that the GBHL initials are vital to the logo and we agreed. Whilst an axe or a sword looked cool and there were a few designs that did have sort of axis swords, mm -hmm. there was one that I really, really liked that had the wizard staffs. Yes, that was really cool. That, one. that was really, really good. Yeah, three with the staffs going. Uh, that was probably a, one of our second favourites, I think. Yeah. It really stood out to us and brilliant design work. Um, they do not necessarily connect you with your wonderful GBHL channel straight away. Yeah. Which again, was something we thought about. The fact that the acronym GBHL is used so much on your videos mm -hmm. that that uh, means that, for me, it is a must have in the logo. We agreed, yeah. which is why we've gone for you. Clearly, we cannot have the word Hobbit in there for legal reasons. Again, we agreed there are a few people that had, like, support your Hobbit hobby. Yeah. Which, although is great. Um, and it is what we do say quite a lot. Something we couldn't sell. Yeah, we couldn't profiteer from that. No. Uh, clearly, we can, yeah, so 
Otherwise, I would have produced an accompanying slogan, support your Hobbit hobby, in matching typeface. That's what he said. Okay. Uh, point number three for him was the image simplicity. The logo needs to be replicated on t-shirts, hoodies, dice, etc. So it needs to be simple enough to be replicated on these items. We agreed. I think that this logo will be easy enough to transfer onto whatever product you wish to produce. It's not too intricate and can be easily identifiable. We yeah. agreed. Uh, four, image quality. I'm happy to produce a neat version of design if necessary, although I doubt that we'll be blowing up to the size that warrants a high level of accuracy. However, this was a quick hand-drawn version and I'm happy to tweak aspects of design. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, he did have some sort of ideas in terms of adding rides of Rohans and Wood Elves and large axes and stuff like that. But he decided to go for the simplicity, which we actually really, 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 really liked. Yeah. Now, we did give him um, a few sort of design briefs before we made this decision. And we yeah. wanted to see how that went. And finally, a couple of weeks ago, Tom got back to us. And uh, we'd sort of, we'd, we'd said, originally it was a little bit long, wasn't it? It was, it, it was very sort of, it's not a long, is it? It's over. Mm -hmm. Very oh, ovular, oval. <laughs> Making it was long and thin rather than sort of a bit shorter. Like um, an elf rather than a dwarf. Yeah, it was. Um, so he made it match the Tolkien logo. Yeah. So we actually got the logo is now the exact same dimensions as the Tolkien logo. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he said that there might be some issues obviously with squashing this into sort of dice. Square shape, but. Yeah, but we're happy with that. Um, we asked him to create some similar sharp flips from the letter ends as well, because it was very kind of curly-whirly. Rounded, wasn't it? And now it's got a few more sort of flicks, and mm -hmm. um, and also we asked if he could make the stems, the letters, and make it all a bit thicker. And he's done that, and it looks loads better. And said, we said, sort of match the dot clusters and the little flick things to, to, Tolkien's. to, to that Tolkien kind of idea. Just to give a bit that link of it. Like Makes it a bit easier strong. to create that link in your mind that, you know, that we do review Lord of the Rings kind of stuff. Yeah. So <clears throat> those were the reasons behind Thomas's design. We would like to say thank you massively. You're a great guy. We love you to bits, and yeah. uh, we'll get that stuff done to you as soon as possible. So this does mean that very, very soon... We're going to be able to sell the stuff. Which means that we can finally pay for the amount of time that we put into this, which is incredibly important. Yeah. It is important that... Um, I think it's important for me. I've got to be able to justify this to Jane. You know, yeah. she's been this close from sort of making me making you sell up, making me sell up, and I need to be able to say, well, hang on, this is a business. You know, I'm spending time on this because it is bringing in money and paying for that time. So she understands that when the washing up isn't done, it's not because I'm just playing games. It's because I'm trying to provide for our futures. <laughs> it's true. It's absolutely true. Um, so with this in mind, we want you to comment below. Would you like? GBHL merchandise. Yeah. If so, what would you like? And based on the numbers of what yeah. you comment below, what you would want, we're going to get that much produced or maybe a bit more than that produced. Because yeah. um, obviously the more orders that we can make, the cheaper than that can be. So just express your initial interest yeah. and we'll make a video soon. Showing off. True enough. We'll be wearing them in every video once we've got them. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will. Every video. So this has been our video talking you through the new GBHL logo we hope that you all like it and you continue this amazing journey that we are on with our channel couldn't do it without you guys continue to like share subscribe popcorn going everywhere but now don't share the popcorn whoa 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 we paid like 75 people now <laughs> continue to comment like share and subscribe support your hobby hobby and happy strategy battle gaming team